Julie Roussel here. Hey, welcome and thanks for joining in on this Wacky Wednesday where you never know what the topic is going to be. So hey, thanks for popping in, whether it's live or you're catching on the replay. It's great to spend a few minutes with you and it seems I forgot to post my notes up here to take a look at, so I apologize for looking down. I'm trying to get that taken care of. I can't believe I forgot. But um, as always with any of my videos, if you hear something that you find helpful, you know, please leave me a reaction. Um, say hey anytime. Uh, drop a comment or ask questions in the thread below anytime. I'll share the video with anyone you think it might help. And PM me if you have questions or want to hear more. I'm always happy to share the things that I'm learning and I hope that they help you. So hey, hello Diana. Hello Janet. Hey, nice to see you. I'm glad you could pop in. Hello, I see a few more joining in. Awesome. Hey, Joe. Hello, Jeff. Hey, Michelle. Nice to see you, lady. Hey, hello, Cindy. Thanks for popping in. Um, if I happen to miss your name, I apologize. I usually love to welcome people as they join in. Um, my notes and camera are usually set um, landscape style, which is to my left. And my mind usually goes blank, so I need to check them. So let me ask the question for the night. Um, do you know which foods to eat and which ones to avoid for healthier skin? So comment below. Um, if you know if you're not a nutritionist, I'm not either. Uh, but if you have some helpful tips that were passed on to you by someone in that profession, um, please do me a favor and share them at any time. I I'm always looking for helpful tips that are going to benefit me as well as that I can pass on. And. Um, Many people know that my son Alex and I have struggled with our skin a little bit as well as some focus and ADD issues for him. And there are many times that I wondered if there was a correlation between what you eat and how your skin reacts and if there were any you know, benefits to healthier eating. And what I found through some research is that what you put on your skin you know, definitely has an impact, but what you ingest as well also can help or hinder the effects. So like I said, I researched, I googled some articles, and checked with a few friends in the dermatology and nutrition world. You know, as I said, I don't have a dermatology or a nutrition degree or background, so I usually trust my friends for their advice. And what I found is that you can't stop the natural aging process, but you do have control over your premature aging, as well as how your skin looks. And the biggest issue today um, using SPF 30 sunscreen would be the biggest and UVA, UVB broad spectrum. Now, as you know, if you're headed out for spring break, um, don't forget to pack plenty of it. <laughs> you're going to need it because that as the, um, skin cancer foundation, um, recommends that you use SPF 30 at all times to diminish, to diminish your risk of skin cancer as well as prevent, you know, premature aging. So also what you eat has an impact on your skin, not just what you put on it. And I'm not saying that one crazy um, junk food binge is going to cause aging or you're going to have a massive breakout or anything like that. But cumulatively, a junk food binge, you know, you definitely would cause problems. Oh, hey, Monica. Hey, lady. Thanks for popping in. I'm glad to see you. I almost missed you there. But um, according to my friend Michelle McBride, who's a dermatology PA, um, Wendy Bazillion, who's the author of Eat Clean, Stay Clean, Stay Lean, excuse me, it's a nutrition book, as well as the American Association of Dermatology, there are three keys that they talked about. Um, first one, diets high in sugar and refined carbs, um, you know, ends up damaging the collagen and elastin in your skin, which are the... Um, pretty cool proteins that support your skin structure and make it look and feel more firm. And if you're not eating, and if you are eating too much of those things, then you will, it will contribute to more wrinkles and more sagging skin. I think my friend Michelle uh, coined the term sugar sag. Sure, why not? And what, what happens is when you're ingesting a lot of those sugars and refined carbs. I'm talking about processed ones, not ones that are found naturally in your foods. Um, it contributes to chronic low-grade inflammation in your body. And if you have allergies or certain food sensitivities, um, it may have an even more heightened effect on your body and your skin. So what they recommended was that you avoid, you know, lots of high sugar candy, soda, 
um, white flour, pastas, bagels, baked goods, um, and in my case I cut down on the amount of gluten that my son was consuming. Because all of these refined carbohydrates, they don't present any or supply any nutrients to your body to help it generate new skin cells. And without those necessary nutrients, you have slower healing, you know, you have poor flexibility, poor elasticity on your skin as well as the dullness. So what you want to, what they recommend is that you want to eat, you know, whole grains, sweet potatoes, berries, apples, um, potatoes, high fruit, fiber, um, organic corn, legumes, beans, rice, veggies, you know, as unprocessed and as natural as possible. And I'm not trying to be a carb hater here, and I'm not saying you should avoid them completely. You know, you can't, but just minimize consumption in those areas to help you out. There we go. I apologize. Not everything was in tip-top shape ready tonight. Second recommendation, um, avoid foods that are high in trans fat and saturated fats. And you want to check the labels on your food. So I know you really can't see very well, but right here, I apologize, it's backwards. It says uh, saturated fats and trans fats. Okay, the American Association of Dermatology recommends avoiding too much because it will increase your wrinkles and accelerate your aging. Go figure. And they recommend that you avoid too much red meat. You know, high fat dairy, bacon, processed meats, sausage, you know, things like that. And it's something that I struggle with because I love bacon and red meat just like the next girl. And their recommendation was that you keep about 10% of your diet from high fat meats and eat lean meats. Guys, take your baths, please. No argument. Sorry about the interruption. Thank you. <laughs> and like I said, I love the taste of fat too. I mean, it always flavors your food. And you, you wanna go with like a 90-10 ground beef mix. Seems to have good flavor as well as, you know, the best of both worlds of being lean as well as healthy. And I don't know if you're aware, but um, the trans fats that you see popping up right here, um, it says zero grams are considered extremely dangerous to our heart health. So what happened this year is that the FDA banned it as an ingredient starting in 2018 um, because of the partially hydrogenated fats and oils that are added into it that, um, as I said, um, are very dangerous for your heart health. So they recommend you avoid them at all possible. So please make sure that you check um, the labels. Like this one it has no trans fat and no saturated fat. So keep that in mind. Um, now, and again, I'm not a fat hater eater. I, I like to eat fats like everyone else. But you want to concentrate on the good fats because there are good fats. You know, things like, um, I apologize, I'm getting lost there. Oh, hey, Joe, thanks for popping in. It's been a really long time, bud. Great to see you. Say hi to the family for me. But you want to concentrate on the good fats. You know, things like avocados, um, nuts, fish, coconut, olive oil, things like that that are the good fats that have anti-inflammatory effects as well as other nutrients. So um, the third and final recommendation from the American Association of Dermatology, as well as a few nutritionists, you want to avoid excessive alcohol. And when I heard that, I almost stopped right there. I thought, oh, geez, you know, I love an occasional glass of wine and I don't want to give that up. But um, what they recommended, not that you give it up completely, unless you gave it up for Lent. But um, you want to just avoid in excess because it dehydrates your body and there's less hydration to your skin, which means your skin is going to look dry and feel dry. Now the key is to keep it to one to two drinks per day or less. Um, and most people have heard the recommendations from um, doctors about how red wine has a lot of heart benefit, that benefits. That's the right word. And I'm not saying you have to avoid it at all. I, I don't. But the key point is basically just to remove the foods that cause problems and you know minimize your consumption. And I'm not saying you want to exclude it completely, just minimize. You know, for my son Alex, limiting, you know, sugar, processed carbs, excessive baked goods, gluten, you know, going with more fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, for him tends to tamp down skin irritations and, and helps his focus. You know, for myself. You know, my skin seems to stay a little clear and doesn't react as strongly. And I seem to have more energy. So I'm thinking that it's been, you know, definitely a worthwhile adjustment in my diet as well as my son. So it might be beneficial for you 
to try to consider some of those. So if you heard something that you find helpful, would you please leave a reaction? Um, comment if you have any valuable or healthy eating tips um, in the thread below. Um, oh gosh, I lost my train of thought, sorry about that. Um, PM me if you have questions or wanna hear more about keeping your skin healthy or looking on the inside as well as out. And as I said, I'm not a nutritionist or a dermatologist, but thanks to my friend Michelle McBride, who's a dermatology PA, um, author Wendy Bazillion, and the American Association of Dermatology, what I've learned is that not only what you put on your skin impacts how it looks, but also what you put into it can promote better health. And as I was saying before, I'm not telling you to completely avoid sugar or refined carbs, you know, trans or saturated fats, you know, alcohol, just, you know, keep it to the recommended minimums. So if you also require detailed info on diet plans, you know, see your nutritionist for your personalized plan to fit your specific needs or, or possible sensitivities. So if you want the outside to look better, what you ingest into your body makes an impact too. I'll catch you later.